the fact how I haven't done an actual like tutorial in forever. So for today's video, I did this like purple smoky yet like bright eye for summer i wanted to you know do something that was going to be good for summer and i think it's just really still smoky but bright at the same time like for a night out girl i would wear this grocery shopping like i really don't care for y'all that don't like to do the most i think this would be great for nighttime i love beating my face i just i have so much fun doing it and I just really love the outcome for today's look. I'ma let y'all go, my eye is watering, my hair is acting up, it's like, it doesn't wanna stay back, like it literally is doing its own thing. So I really hope y'all enjoy this tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so your girl um, looks like absolute trash, I literally have my hair up, like I have all these baby hairs everywhere. So I already did my brows, I did one eye for you, so we can speed up the process a little bit. I primed the eyes using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Sculpting Concealer. We're gonna be focusing on one palette for this eye look but for my transition color I'm gonna be using this palette this is the morphe 35u and I'm gonna go in with this like mauve dusty shade and what I'm gonna do with this color is just pop this on my crease it can actually come off like really different depending on how you want to look at it because even now I'm like wait is this mauve what color is it really and I really just like to take my transition colors like on the crease so I'm just going in circular motions it's like the best way for me to blend out eyeshadow I'm going in the inner corner and the outer corner and I always like to just drag it out just a little bit but boom we have the transition color now placed Ta -da. I'm going in with the Dominique lemonade palette and this is actually such a beautiful palette I was really going for like that purple eye so I was like okay this is perfect so basically, I'm gonna go in with chai tea, and I guess you could say it's like a brown. I'm gonna pack this on the outer corner of the eye, and I'm gonna slowly work it in about halfway right there. I just really want to intensify that crease, you know what I mean? It feels so weird doing this. I feel like I haven't done a tutorial in so long that it just doesn't feel right. Everybody has their own techniques, but I feel like at this point, I feel like I'm just a circular motion person. That looks so good. See how like it just pulls together? And basically, I'm gonna go back in with the other brush and blend up the edges. At the same time, you're kind of applying a little bit of what's left on the brush, but also making sure that everything is nice and seamless. But I'm just going in with the same shadow, intensifying it a little more, making it just more like sunken. So right now we have some fallout. Don't worry, girl. We're gonna go in there and wipe it off right after. I want to move into this like Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint, and basically what this is gonna do is make the color that I apply above pop. So as you can see, I have like kind of like a purple eye going on right now. I want to use this like right under. It's just a straight up purple color. I want to apply this. That way it's able to you know look purple. I just pop this like in the back of my hand. So I'm gonna go in the lid. The color is really beautiful on its own, the one that I'm gonna be using above this, but I did want it to look a little bit more purple. Even just like using a black or a white really helps out too. Now I'm going in with a strawberry. You can definitely consider this a pink shadow, but I just thought about it like, okay, if I mix it with purple, it's gonna look a little purple you know what I mean I think just in general without the whole lighting these together looked more purple I know it sounds crazy I, mean, I might be going crazy but now with lighting it's like this looks pink and this just looks plain brown but somehow some way I made it work and it looks purple so we're just gonna go with that so I'm gonna go in with strawberry and just pack this color on the eyelid I also um, applied some setting spray I love to do this with any of like my lid shadows. It really just helps the shadow look so pigmented. And I'm just packing this all over the lid. I'm also taking my finger just because I feel like the finger always helps it pack on so much more. I'm just gonna go in with chai tea just a little bit like on the edges of the shadow, right about there. I just want the eyes to be as symmetrical as I possibly could have them. So already the eyeshadow looks very glittery, but I want it to be a little bit more glittery. I'm gonna go in with the Pixi Liquid Fairy Lights, and it's this right here. This is like so bomb. Like I said again, in my haul, like I swatched these and I was so in shock, so I have to use this. And I'm packing this on the lid. 
right where I applied the purple and it's just going to give it a little bit more glitter even though the shadow alone already honestly has a lot of sheen basically what I do to clean this off I apply like makeup oil take a rag and boom and it's kind of like hydrating your face at the same time because all that wiping sometimes could just dry it out now I'm just going in with a black shadow and I'm taking an angle brush it's really nothing extreme you could do eyeliner if you want I'm applying this like above and it just creates kind of like eyeliner but effortless type nothing too clean this black is so pigmented it literally looks like I'm applying liner but it's not so to coat my lashes I'm gonna take the benefit bad girl bang mascara this is actually really good I actually like using this travel size one I have the original size as well but I'm just you know trying to get use out of this one I feel like mascara is like heels you gotta break them in at first I didn't like it and now I'm like obsessed now for lashes we're going in with the Lily lashes and Miami these are bomb I'm sure you guys have heard a ton about these they're like I think they're top seller all right so let's move on to the face I already moisturized so we're just gonna jump in with foundation I actually want to try out the benefit hello happy foundation and I feel like I'm a four but then I did go to Laughlin this past weekend and I got so burnt. So I feel like if anything, I might be number five. This bottle is just taking it all out. Like maybe it's just when you like open it, it just keeps coming out. In my other video when I was unboxing it, like it happened the same thing, I think to shade number four. So this is not the same box that was like overflowing last time. Cause it doesn't seem to be doing that now that I like squeezed enough product out. I feel like I didn't put enough so if it's a little too tan, I could go in with a shade four. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with shade four. I think that's gonna be a lot better. This is my first time actually using this foundation. The last time I had only swatched it, which is why I realized it was literally like coming out like crazy. But I feel like I do really uh, like the coverage. So far, it's looking pretty gray. I feel like it's not oxidizing as much. And if it is, it's like my exact color. So that's pretty cool. I definitely did tan though, because the last time that it was oxidizing on my arm, it looked a little tanner. That was before I went <laughs> to Laughlin, so. That makes a lot of sense. Now I'm gonna highlight the face using the Too Faced of Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the color Porcelain. This is the biggest concealer I've honestly ever freaking tried. I love it though. It is so good. I've been using it the past couple days. It is bomb. So I like to take a generous amount underneath my eyes. I did notice it was like leaking out a little bit, which made a little bit of mess in my makeup bag. This is by far one of my favorite concealers. I mean, I've only used it for the past, I want to say, week. And it is so bomb. And the reason why I do the side of my nose is because, like, it really snatches it. Like, and then I like to go, like, on the side, like, boom. And it almost, like, cuts the edge. I'm going in with a Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. I've been using this setting powder every single day. It's just translucent. I definitely get the sides kind of snatching it boom the forehead chin I mean really the whole face I just intensified the brows a little bit more I feel like it really just pulled the whole look together I'm going in with the NYX pencil liner this is just a nude it's gonna really open up my eyes make them look more awake you could use a black honestly it just depends if you're feeling like a bright look I'm going back into this like mauve. I don't even know what color it is at this point. I feel like it's honestly a freaking orange. And we're gonna pop this right underneath the eye. And now going back in with chai tea. I'm gonna pop this right under the lower lash line and really just give the eye a little bit of definition. Now I'm just gonna go in with some mascara, coat the bottom lashes, and we are almost done with the eyes. And now I'm gonna go in with Nude Tea. I'm just gonna pop this on the brow bone to have like a little subtle highlight. Just really completing off the look. I think I wanna go in with a liquid glitter like in the inner corner and give it like a pop. That's looking pretty bomb. 
Wow. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Star Give Me Life Bronzing Powder. I love me some bronzer. I'm gonna go a little light. I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna go like on the cheeks a little bit. Warm up that face. my first time actually using it I'm noticing that it's not so heavy like even though I'm going a little ham it doesn't look crazy on my face this is gonna be my favorite bronzer ever I already like it so much I can't even get over this hair I kind of want to go in with this blush this is a Too Faced love flush your love is king anytime I do like a purple eye this always works out I would say the only thing is I always struggle opening up these blushes like this is such cute packaging but I can't open it ever <laughs> this blush is a little pigmented so I just want to go in the slightest amount. I like to focus my blush like on the outer part of my cheeks, not so much like inward. I saw Kylie Jenner do that like Vogue tutorial and she uses a blush like on her nose, forehead, chin. I'm like, okay, I see where she's going. I'm gonna try it on the nose a little bit, on the forehead. Okay, I see where it's going. It looks like I have a little bit more blood flow than usual. I'm gonna go in the nose a little bit to contour. This step is very necessary for me. I really want it to look as snatched as possible. I don't really bring it in too much. I just literally keep it naturally on my natural bridge. I know some people like to bring it in more. Honestly, I do that sometimes. Just depends how I want my nose to look. All right, so for highlighter, I'm taking this Pixie Little Duo. I've never really used Pixie Beauty, and the other day when I was swatching all the products, I was so in shock. Oh my god. Finally moving on to lips. I'm going in with the NYX Wade Matte Lip Liner. This is in the color Soft Spoken. And right above that, I'm going in with the Anastasia Naked Liquid Lipstick. I wanna go in with this light pink. I think it will definitely pull the look together. This is from the Lemonade Collection. This is in the color Pink Lemonade. It smells so bomb. So it's my first time using these lip glosses. I love that they're not so sticky where they feel like uncomfortable. I really like how this feels. It's like not so like slippery, but not sticky. Like it's perfect. I'm going to set it with some setting spray. Oh, I'm running out. Is that a bad thing? All right, y'all, so that pretty much completes this look. Honestly, I'm living. I really like this. My hair is like everywhere. I love the way purple looks on my eyes. I feel like it really complements brown and hazel eyes a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm glad I was able to try a lot of new things for y'all. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Honestly, like I missed doing tutorials and wow, it happened. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.